Blender 2.8 finally will have a left click select that is a first class citizen and we can get our old 2.79 shortcuts back. Hello everyone and welcome back to BlenderDiplom.com. I'm Gottfried Hofmann and in this Blender 2.8 Alpha 2 preview video I'd like to show you the new left click select key map. But first take a look at this. Here I got the splash screen and below here I have quick setup. This only shows up if you install Blender 2.8 for the first time. So in case this doesn't show up for you, delete the user preferences folder and start Blender 2.8 again. And here I can select shortcuts. I have Blender which is Blender 2.8 and the old Blender 2.7x key map which is probably pretty good news for many of you. And then I can choose whether I want to select with left or right mouse button. Right click select is of course still the default as it separates action from selection. But in case you want a more traditional way to select in Blender, you can now choose left click select and get a key map that's very similar to other programs. More on this in a few moments. Down here I can select whether I want the spacebar to play my animation, bring up the tools like it was most of the time in Blender 2.8 or show up this search like back in the old days. And by the way regarding the theme, currently there is a light one and a dark one. I personally prefer the dark one. Now with left click select enabled, let's see what's going on. Let me first click here on the camera and I did it with the left mouse button and it got selected. That's of course not such a big news, but if I click anywhere else where there is no object, now it deselects everything, which is the first difference from Blender 2.79. And in case I click and drag, by default it show brings up box selection, which by the way is something I can change as well up here. For example, if I go to select lasso, then clicking and dragging anywhere will bring up the lasso. Then there is also purely select. So if I choose this and click and drag, it will move anything that is selected. And if I click and don't drag, it will deselect everything. Then when I have any of these enabled and I click somewhere, then I can still click anywhere else, it gets deselected or I click on another object, it gets selected and the tools I have enabled here will only work when I hover over them. So in case here or here or here. So only when I hover over them and if I go a little bit further away, let's say here, then Instead, I deselect again. So you've seen that uh, left click select now. Let's see what happens with right click select. Well, we get a context menu, which by the way is pretty cool. And if you have anything selected, the context menu is a little bit different. So you see it's really a context menu. And by the way, it's also different from what we have up here in the object menu. So it's really a dedicated menu where the developers think, hey, those options make sense when I have an object selected and do a right click. So do you like those new, this new key map for left click select? Or do you prefer the old key map? Or are you one of those who are using right click select? please let uh, me know your thoughts about it in the comments below this video. And in case you want other people to see this video, for example, because they don't know yet that uh, Blender 2.8 will get left mouse select as a first class citizen, share it with them, share it wherever you can. And of course, like and subscribe. And as always, please do try this at home. That means link to the Blender 2.8 alpha builds is in the description.